keeps crocheting plastic and creating beds for those in need. Same as Don Sally Matthews spoke with a woman who says her cause is good for the environment too. Up until a month ago, Pure Weathers had crocheted in Sounds years. years. My grandmother taught me when I was very, very young, and probably the last thing I made was a pot holder. But in November, she picked up the crochet hook and started to make mats. Not made from yarn, but from plastic bags. Cut off the ends. You cut off the handle. Fold and cut it into half. And you're left with these strips that wrap into this ball, mimicking a yarn. Do you ever want to be crocheting plastic on a yarn? Never. The idea came from a friend who said to this YouTube video of how to crochet a sleeping mat from plastic. With us quickly put our old skill to work and ask friends to help out. Once these mats are finished, she'll be handing them out to the homeless. They're lightweight. And additionally, they um, are going to keep the wet off of your body, off of your clothing, off of your blanket if you happen to have one. And they're environmentally friendly, something that she advocates for through her series of children books. Every mat takes up to 350 plastic bags. I tried my hand into this skill. It's not as easy as it looks. No, <laughs> it is once you get started. Huh? Withers is hoping to get more hands to help with her cause. I personally have been without everything. I have been without anything. And when someone just takes a moment to care, it makes all the difference in the world. The difference is giving comfort in more ways than one. In your four weeks, you're selling them to News 9. Now, aside from needing volunteers, Withers needs all the plastic bags she can get. For more information on how you can help, just log on to our website at baynews9.com.